ships under ideal conditions. The secret? A major leap in the J-20's ASA radar technology. Its upgraded KLJ-5 radar now uses silicon carbide semiconductor modules, allowing more power, less heat, and higher sensitivity against low observable targets. Paired with a distributed infrared search and track system, the J-20 can not only look for radar reflections, it can hunt for heat, like jet exhaust or friction heating at high speed. When networked with China's KJ-500 airborne warning planes and powerful ground sensors, the J-20 becomes just one node in a long-range kill web designed to cue PL-15 long-range missiles at stealth threats. But the United States sees a different picture. The F-35 Lightning II is often described as flying radar with a jet built around it. Its APG-81 radar uses ultra-low probability of intercept technology, meaning it can scan aggressively without giving away its position. Meanwhile, sensor fusion gathers information from radar, infrared cameras, electronic warfare antennas, and data links, combining it into a real-time God's eye view that every pilot in the formation can share. Then there's pure stealth. Independent assessments show the F-35 still maintains one of the lowest radar cross-sections of any operational fighter. The J-20, while designed for stealth, has a larger forward signature, meaning American jets may appear far smaller on Chinese radar. So who detects who first? Experts say there's no simple answer. It depends on altitude, angle, emissions control, electronic warfare, and above all, the networks behind each plane. Because the next air battle won't be just jet versus jet, it will be system versus system and whichever side sees first decides the fight.